because if 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 we go right to work in this state, our members will be directly impacted on their ability to make a decent living with decent wages and with decent benefits. And so it's just a it's a cause and effect. If you look in the South, where right to work laws are prevalent, they make substantially less money than we do. And when you have less income, you have less ability to pay your bills. Obviously, you can't afford health care. You can't afford to send your kids to school. Uh, it's a domino effect. And so most of the public thinks that the uh, the right to work thing, and it sounds great, it's one of those things that just sounds like, why would anybody be for the right to work? But they don't really in, understand the impact it is. Right to work is not, nothing more than a way to kill unions. And so we're fighting for our survival. No, I'm a Rolls Royce. Oh, okay, well we painted that place though. So. Oh, did you? Yeah. Anyway, to make a long story short, Mary Ann got beat by eight votes last election cycle. Okay. And the guy that, that she's running against, is the Alrod fellow, have you heard of him? Yeah. Yeah. He is as about as anti-union as they come. And the bottom line is, if they retake the House this year, we may be a right to work state. I don't know how much you know about right to work. Yeah, I know a little but, bit. But that's kind of a scam. She's a good gal. You can read the stuff she said. Okay, I'll read. Can, I don't know that much about her, but I'll read. Well, this guy's stuff is public record. Has uh, unions going for her? Yes, very much public okay, for her. Okay, all right. But this fellow. In the words on the street, the Chamber of Commerce is coming after us. Uh, the, our competition is after us. We are the only people that are standing in the way of being just ran over. And so we have to fight. We have to fight back. We can't fight back with money. We can only fight back with our feet on the street.